Hey, this is Kev with Blender Binge, back with another tutorial for you. This time, we're going to be making this cube thingy thing. I mean, it's really, really awesome, and you totally have to make it. So let's just jump right in and do it. Ready? Here we go. First thing I'm gonna do, get rid of this cube, sorry. And I'm gonna go to Add, or Shift A, I don't care, doesn't matter. And we're going to go to Mesh, and I'm going to say Torus. Now, Torus here, I'm going to give it some dimensions. So, 48 is good for this. Uh, minor segments 12 is good. Major radius 1 meter, and minor radius I'm going to bump up to point, uh, let me see. Hey, yeah, sure, let's go 0.5, why not? Done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to select this guy. I'm going to go over to my modifiers and say add modifier and I'm going to choose remesh and it looks like that and then I'm going to change from mode from sharp to blocks cool there we go right and now I'm just going to change octree depth to five all right we're almost there now I need to just put my camera into the middle. To do that, I'm going to hit Alt G on the keyboard. That centers it. And if I expand this little thing, you can see here location, rotation. So now I'm going to hit Alt R for rotation, and this is going to zero out. Watch this. Alt R, zero, done. Clear the rotation. So now my camera is in the middle. So I'm just going to select my camera. I'm going to say rotation on the X. See? Rotation on the X. Change that to 90. Done. Now, I'm going to move my camera. So you can hit this move thing or you can hit uh, shift space bar and then you have all these things that come up. So move, G, whatever, and pull them in there. Now I'm gonna hit zero on the keyboard to go into the camera view. And look at that, it's wonderful. So what I'll do now is I'm just gonna widen the camera angle. Let me get this out of the way here so you can see this. Widen the camera. To do that, camera selected. Go down a little camera icon. I'm going to say focal length, and I'm going to choose 18. Go pretty wide. There. Nice and wide. And I can just take the camera to your location on the X. I can kind of move them over a little bit just so we have it kind of centered up. Just like that. And now is a good time to save the scene so i'm going to save it and then i'm going to come back now what i'm going to do is give it some shaders well, let me go and i could use this little shading tab up here and i know 2.8 has this little shading tab it's wonderful everybody's using it i'm, I'm not going to use it i'm just going to go down here a little cursor turns into a little crosshair thingy pull it up then this little button here i change to shader editor and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the torus I'm going to leave it called Taurus because that's pretty much what it is. And I'm going to say new. And that gives it a new shader. Now we can't really see the shader, anything happening with this. So we have to go over to right here. And if we click on this rendered view, you now see we get rendered. And now what we can do is go over here and we will click on this little render icon and it's set to EV. We'll use EV for this. And I'm going to turn on ambient occlusion that kind of shadows it a little bit, gives it some cool, uh, you know, where the corners are, darkens it. I'll turn on um, bloom because everybody likes to abuse that these days in 2.8. And I'll turn on uh, volumetric. And I'll take shadows here and I'll turn high bit depth, soft shadows, and just leave it at that for now, I guess. Um, you don't have to turn that on if you're graphics card can't handle this stuff just leave it off it's totally fine and uh, I think I'll turn on screen space reflections and that is all I need to do so now I think I'll just throw a light back here and we'll see what it looks like so I'm gonna hit shift a or I can go to add either one light I'll throw a point light and whoa that's kind of crazy right so let's put it back so I'm gonna go out of my scene and I'm just gonna take this guy and move him up here now if I hit zero again there he is I'll pull him behind the wall 
about there. And I could take the power down to about two. And that's pretty good. So now we're just gonna make it a little cooler looking. So to do that, I'm gonna select the torus. You know, what? let's this light is in here. We should have deleted that in the beginning. Let's delete that. Just go here, right click, and say delete. Okay. So now what I'll do is I'll select my torus. And I'm gonna go to my modifiers over here. And I think I'm gonna say add modifier. And I'm gonna say wireframe. And then I'm gonna just take it off replace original. And with this, I'm gonna take the thickness, I'm gonna put 0 0.004. And now I have kind of this cool grid pattern and it's not too crazy and I kind of dig that. So now we can go ahead and start giving it a shader. To do that, we have this principled shader, material 01. I'm just gonna call this walls. And let's give it a, hmm. Let's go ahead and give it a mixed shader. So I'm gonna hit Shift A and I'm gonna to go to shader and I'm gonna say mix. I'm gonna drop mix over this little line. Okay, when it highlights, you can drop it and it wires itself up. And then I'm gonna create an emission shader down here to give it some cool glow effects. So Shift A, shader, emission, ah, hey, shader, emission plug that into the second one. And now we have this thing giving off light. So now we just have to control it. See my factor, okay, zero and one. We don't like that. I want this to only be where I want it. So in this case, I'm just gonna be putting it into these areas around here. So to do that, I'm gonna hit shift A. Let me change this to blue for now so we can see what it's gonna look like when it actually happens. So I'll hit shift A, or again, you can go add, doesn't matter. And I'm gonna go input, and I'm gonna say layer weight. Pull that in, say facing to factor. And now it only shows up certain places, okay, like facing away. And you'll see as we take this down a little bit, we now have more control. So I'll bump this up, and I'll play with this now. 0 0.05, let's see. 0.01, push this up more, and I'm getting getting kind of what I want here. And now if I turn this to metallic down here, and I turn the roughness up, starting to get somewhere. Take the base color, pull them down a little bit, and now we start getting this really interesting looking kind of sci-fi motion graphics tunnel dingy block thing whatever and let's see what happens if I turn this to Fresnel. Ooh, I like Fresnel better. Fresnel. Fresnel. Okay, so I'm going to use it, I'm going to leave it as Fresnel and we have this. So now I can bump the strength up and we're getting some really interesting looking stuff. So now I can add the animation. To do that, pretty simple. Let me drag this up so you could see it more. Taurus, we're gonna rotate around the Z. I just guessed at that. I so really know that for sure. So anyway, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Z. I'm gonna say insert keyframe. I'm gonna say insert single keyframe because I don't wanna keyframe everything because I get sloppy. Insert single keyframe, okay? This is at one. Now we have these little diamonds. So I'm gonna go out here to 250 and I'm gonna say 359, because I don't want it to go quite to 360 because then it's gonna stutter. 359 and then it's gonna loop, pick right back up and one and it should be fine. So make sure you right click and say insert single keyframe. So now if I go back here and I hit play, you should see, yep, no stutter happening at all. Cool, works for me. And just so you know, uh, I have this set on linear motion. So what you can do is you can go to edit if it's not, and you can go to preferences. You can go here to animation and you can set default interpolation. I think it's set 
default is set to Bezier, 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 just turn it to linear. Okay, turn it to linear. And then this will happen. If it's not linear, then uh, you can go here. You can go to graph editor. All right, you can hit the little plus, the little uh, dot key on the numeric keypad. Hit A, select everything, and then you just go here to channel, extrapolation, and change it to linear. Okay, so now you know how to do that. So now I'm going to go back here to timeline. And we now have this animation going. Now, to keep this video really nice and short, I can just go ahead and render it, and you'll see what it looks like. So, I'm just going to go to, let's see, I'll turn on motion blur. Why not? It looks better. I don't know if it's going to do it when it's turning around inside EV, but we'll see. And then I'll just go to output, and I'll set my output block MoGraph. And now I'm just going to call this block. MoGraph dot MP4, hit accept, and then I'll change file format here to FFmpeg video. I will change encoding here to H.264 in MP4, and uh, that should be good. And then I'll just go here, render, render animation, and then we'll come back and see what we have. Okay, so we're back, and here it is. And it looks pretty nice. Okay, so we can make this cooler now by just doing a few extra things here. I can go to camera and I can change the Y rotation to about six degrees off kilter. So you see now it just looks a little more visually appealing, a little more interesting. And I can play with these lines a little bit. So to do that, I can give them a different shader, make them a lot more shiny and more interesting. So I can go select my torus. I can go here to Material, I can hit New, I can hit New, I can call Material 001 Lines, and now what I'll do is I'll go back to Taurus here, make sure I go to Modifiers, and Material Offset here now I can change to 1, and that'll put it at this shader. So 1, if you see here, underneath uh, Material, is this. So this is zero, this is one. And if you had two in here and three or whatever, but this is one, so now we have a different shader and that's controlling this. So if I change this, so I go fully metallic, okay, I can bring the roughness all the way up or bring it all the way down. And now you can see that I'm getting some nice highlights on these. Just adds a little bit more flavor to it. You could go ahead and add a, a emission shader in here and do a whole bunch of stuff, whatever you want. But that's how you go ahead and control. And now I get different, a different shader completely on the lines. So now it's a little more metallic looking, looks a little cooler. And we can add a little more contrast in here too. So I can go back to, let's say, go to my material, click on walls. I can bump up my glow. And I can take my blend, let's see, 0.005. That's a little more contrasty now, just showing up highlights. That's kind of cool. And I can go here to my render. I can go to bloom. And I can take intensity up to one. That's kind of hot. 0.5. 0 0.25, 0 0.25 is kind of cool. And I can go to my point light. And right now it's at white. I could change the color just a little bit, make it a little more interesting. Pull it down into the red or into the yellow. There we go. And now we have some more highlights. We have some more glints. I'll go ahead and render this and we'll take a look. All right, so we're back and here is the final finished product. So we rendered here with color management, base contrast. If I turned it up to like very high contrast, you get more contrast, less contrast. So you can go ahead and play around with this. Okay, so to reiterate, all we did was we took a torus, we 
gave it a remesh modifier, turned up the octree depth, get this cool blocky look, gave it a wireframe modifier, set the camera, set the animation, and then just kind of went crazy and gave it some cool texturing and lighting. That's pretty much all we did and then rendered it. And we came out with this. So hopefully this gives you some ideas of cool things you can make on your own and uh, hopefully you learn something and you can see that Blender is pretty cool. Blender 2.8 especially is pretty cool for doing stuff like this and uh, using EV for some cool glowy quick motion graphics you type VJ loop whatever stuff. So have at it. Have fun. Hit me up in the comments if you have questions. Keep it cool. Keep it civil. And uh, so if you like this hit subscribe hit that little bell notification and I'll keep going and making more. Thanks. Bye.